Hello again. In this uh, video, I'm going to demonstrate how to import an SBM file and kind of set it up a little bit uh, for uh, a study. And we start first with file, import SBML. And it takes me to Kaposi examples. Uh, I'm just going to go to my uh, demo. There you go. And there's the SBML that I just uh, had put into there. So if it doesn't show up, you can just do all files. But in this case, uh, it showed up. And you open, and you'll see it pulls it in. There are no serious issues, right? Minor issues, little things. Typically not a problem. Uh, of course, uh, you hit save, and then it'll save it as a capacity by default, so that's a good thing to do. And we can see there's some information about this. Certain things are, are set already. Um, and uh, we can see the number of compartments, number of species, number of reactions. So now we're getting up to larger uh, model sizes. Um, one thing to uh, note is uh, when we scroll down here, uh, the reports, if they had been in the original capacity that I used to dump out the uh, uh, SBML, are, are not there. So just quickly, let's, uh, I'm not going to name it, but let me just set up a levels time first, model time, item. Species, transient concentrations, so they're all in there. I'll just go ahead and name it. Commit. And then we're ready to, ready to run our time course. Uh, so you can see that these settings go to a default, and uh, it's necessary to know for this particular study, this simulation, uh, how long does it have to go. I'll do uh, 100,000. Uh, simulation time unit, seconds in this case, um, and I'll do uh, 10,000. So these would be uh, specified for a particular study with a particular model. Uh, I'm going to dump my results, and this is a big one, so I'm going to uncheck save results in the memory. I'm still going to dump all of them. You can see uh, some other information here. Let's check my uh, Report and it would be GSE three eight uh, I don't know, whatever the numbers are uh, the date wait 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 levels January seventeen two thousand thirteen three thirty seven p.m. so we're good with that and we run. This is a pretty big model. We'll see how long it takes it to run. So this would be a, a typical approach uh, for the studies uh, that we typically run, where we generate uh, many uh, SBMLs, one SBML for each uh, subject or sample in our study. Um, and uh, then uh, they're uh, imported into uh, Kaposi and uh, particular settings uh, are uh, generated. If there's um, other things uh, that might be set up, like global quantities or events, those uh, uh, don't get uh, dumped into the SBML, so they have to be recreated in each case. Uh, that can be uh, time-limiting in some cases, but um, that's uh, the way that we do it. So this is how we incorporate, uh, excuse me, import an SBML uh, that is all ready to go uh, into uh, Kaposi. And we set up our uh, de you know, determined settings <clears throat> and a report. Typically, we don't set up a plot because uh, in this case, we might be running 20 of these uh, sample uh, in silico simulations. And so we want to streamline everything to go as fast as we can. We would have both reports, uh, levels and flux, and we'd run both of those and any others. Uh, some others that we might run would be sensitivities. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, that's uh, all we need to talk about for today. Thank you.